The uh, law surrounding Conan, in particular the, the stories written by Robert E. Howard himself, have been absolutely pivotal in the creation of, uh, of the, the visual style of, of the game. Now, translating all of this information written through thousands of pages and into actual game graphics, game mechanics, is a, is a daunting task in itself. The descriptions are open enough to allow interpretation, yet precise enough to know what kind of uh, look and what kind of cultures we're dealing with. It's taken us nearly four years to do, but I think we brought out the, uh, the essence of his novels. The overall guideline for the uh, production of the visuals for this game has been to create something that is utterly believable to, to the player. The main style of Age of Conan is, is realism. It's enhanced realism, a magic realism, as we call it. I would say that realism is a, is a starting point uh, with our game. But we've tried to take it beyond that, and, and part of that is through the, the mixing of very disparate, almost contradictory elements. This monster will uh, populate one of our many dark dungeons. Feel free to be tempted by the beautiful Asheronian queen, but do not touch, for she will kick your ass. There will be damage. It's a quick flirt and a lethal one. Being uh, a visual director on a game like this is quite demanding when it comes to not making fluff. Obviously, it's a trap that you can fall into easily, uh, just making beautiful graphics. While our aim has always been to create cool visuals, we also have to bear in mind that, uh, that we need to create functioning items within the game, that are items that will complement gameplay. For this, uh, this location here, we're, which is uh, a marketplace, basically. You need everything from the smallest cockroach to uh, huge treasure chests and shelves and cloth and what have you. In the end, it's really all about does the graphic serve a greater purpose? Does it serve the player and the player's experience uh, more than being just nice backdrops, uh, plates of, uh, of scenery? You can see that the, the, the rough chip marks in the buildings, or with armor, you can see the, uh, the dent marks and the hand crafting. As you see, textures and, and uh, the way they thatch their roofs, and, and it's all uh, roughly executed. So the overall goal that we've had is to create internally consistent cultures, but also within those cultures or across the board, creating something that, that feels grounded in, in its world so that things don't look like they were built yesterday, but feel like they've been standing potentially for thousands of years. Now you can really see how, the, how they've patched up uh, over time started with a rough foundation and then uh, added details and, and uh, improvised as time went by. It's actually quite a long and complex process to get an initial art direction and concept made as a fully functional uh, asset in the game. For example, a monster or uh, something to wear, armor. All of that needs to be made in several stages till it actually appears in the game as something that is uh, usable. So having a a good planning period. That, that's what uh, the concept artist does. He, he plans every detail and, and uh, makes it much easier for uh, the uh, artists, the modelers, uh, to, to execute. Players standing in, the, in terms of evil or less evil or good 
is actually reflected in his uh, outfit and his appearance. If you choose to be uh, a demonologist in the game, then uh, you will feel no pain when uh, flames scorch your flesh. A demonologist will give in to his demons and the uh, flames will burst out from within. Inner flames and inner demons, there's always a sacrifice, there's always a price to pay. Yeah, you want to give the player the ability to shape his own appearance, both physically, his body, his face, his hair, his beard, all of this. And in addition to that, you can also get different kinds of armors depending on the culture, uh, depending on where he is in the world and what kind of awards he gets. So you will see a lot of different nuances throughout the game.